Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another card making video. Today I'm going to play with new products from Simon Says Stamp. This is a new release and this video is actually part of a blog. Hope there are lots of giveaways, so make sure to visit my blog. Today I'm showcasing this stamp set which is called Fairy Tale Spinners as well as this lovely tie which I absolutely love and I'm going to show you two ways on how you can use it. I like the fact that it gives you a little band where you can stamp your sentiment. I used this die through my Gemini and I had no problems at all. If you find that this is quite uh, intricate for your die cutting machine, then you can just use a metal seam and it's going to cut out just fine. Now this design has a lovely stitching all around which works as a perforated design so you can pop it easily out of the border which is exactly what I did here and I have two separate pieces. Another way to do that is to just run your scissors along the line. So at the back I'm using some double sided tape and I'm also using my scissors to cut off any excess. This way all the little openings at the front are sticky and I can add on top some glitter. This is very fine glitter, it's going to stick inside on all those openings. I'm going to push it down with my fingers. Very fine glitter sticks nicely and it doesn't fall off. But if you want to uh, avoid the mess with glitter, you can just stick at the back any glitter cardstock. And of course you can work on a piece of paper so you can put back in the jar all the excess glitter. Now, as a focal point, I'm going to stamp this little uh, flower. This comes from the fairy tale spinners. It's one of the flowers that is included. I am going to stamp it with an alcohol friendly ink and then I'm going to color it. I am using my triblends. These are alcohol markers by Spectrum Noir. And uh, I like that they come with three colors in a barrel so I don't have to go through my stash to find which uh, colors match and blend nicely. So I'm going to do some quick coloring here, green for the stems and yellows and oranges for the petals. The quickest way to go through the petals is to start from the darker cow color and uh, walk my way through to the lighter one. I'm using two shades from the orange marker and the lightest one from my yellow marker. So once I have uh, the um, flower colored, I'm going to use my scissors and cut it out. Just like always, I'm going to leave a white border. This makes uh, cutting super easy. There are matching dies for this stamp set. If you want to grab those, I don't have them, so I'm just fuzzy cutting every image that I'm going to use. Now I'm going to use my Misty. I have my card base here. I'm going to place it down and temporarily I'm going to place on top my little pieces so that I know where about they're going to fall and I can stop my sentiment. For this card I went with a sentiment that says sparkly birthday wishes. I'm going to play a little bit with the positioning. I'm going to bring in the flower and see what works best. So you see since I have this angle on the flower I'm going to uh, shift the sentiment on the other side and then I'm going to stamp that on top with black ink and put my card together. For that I'm using a foam tape at the back of all those pieces just because I like dimension and just because these two pieces from the die cut are separate completely I can have a bigger area to stamp the sentiment in between. I'm adding just a dot of glue at the base of my stem just to make sure that this is not going to move and uh, I'm going to call this card done, really sparkly and uh, with lots of dimension and I love the clean and simple look. And that's the first card for today using this die where I completely separated the design and added lots of glitter. So here is the second panel that I die cut in the beginning. I am going to work directly on my card base and I'm going to blend uh, some ink. This is Distress Oxide ink. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect the blending here. You won't be able to see the whole thing. Just a few bits and pieces are going to show through the openings. So I'm going mainly with a lighter color at the top and at the base I'm going darker just for an ombre look. Now I want to stamp the sentiment on the in-between space that I have. That's why I'm bringing in my Misty and this is where I made the booboo. My hands were um, dirty from uh, inking before and if you see at the top of my panel I have some inking there. I'm just going to use a baby wipe to try and remove some of it just because distress oxide ink reacts with uh, water. 
the paper that I'm working on is not watercolor paper, so it's not going to lift it completely. However, I'm not going to uh, run it through a die cutting machine again. I'm using this piece and I'm going to show you that there is always a way to cover up little mistakes like this. So I'm just going to continue as nothing happened there. I'm going to stamp the sentiment with black ink. And for this card I went with Don't Stop Believing, since I'm planning to use one of the fairies. Again for the fairy I stamped it with uh, alcohol friendly ink, I colored it with my tree blends and now I'm uh, using my scissors to cut it out. Again there are matching dies for this stamp set so you can use that if you don't like fuzzy cutting. I have a foam tape at the back of this panel, I'm going to place it on top of my card base so you can easily see through those holes the blending that I did. I'm going to pop my fairy on top and I went with colors that were inspired by Tinkerbell, although mine isn't blonde. And now the only way to cover up this boo boo at this stage is to stick on top some gems. I have smaller and bigger pink gems which I think are perfect and no one will ever know. So here are some close-up photos on the two cards that I made for today, showcasing products from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter the giveaway. I hope you had fun today, that you got inspired, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.